shirt on than he did when he first joined. So perhaps he was joining to make sure he took care of that so that he could get real fresh and focused now. Yeah, look good, feel good. That's uh, how the saying goes, and it's a Sicilian. And uh, was a small shake of the head there. I'm not sure what that was about. Uh, maybe not expecting the Sicilian, but Simon, you mentioned it to Rosaga. He plays uncompromising chess, uncompromising openings, and this is shaping up nicely. No uh, plays out on any level, but especially at the top. And especially seeing what's happening here, note that Wesley has just as much time that, it, that, that, that which he started with, right? Including the increment, and Ituri Zaga already not necessarily a thrown off. Remember, he's a great master of the highest level, so he knows his openings, but this definitely suggests that he wasn't prepared because these guys don't take time because their coaches tell them to slow down anymore, right? They've matured past that as, as players, right? They, they only take time when they need to, and so already plus one for Wesley in terms of his choice terms of the position he might get on the board to avoid the sharpest lines in the open society. <laughs> yeah, White's got his king castled. Wesley is still really flexible with his queenside pieces. I'm liking how he's set up here uh, at the opening choice. I would, uh, yeah, I would say actually the kind of thought process has changed, especially with the rise of online chess, these kind of long knockout matches, because historically a lot of players would have preferred to, chose, uh, to choose black first. That way they see how the game unfolds and they know when they have White in the final game how aggressive to be how to strike, but it feels like these players, uh, these days, players really back themselves uh, and they're really comfortable with white. They just know that if they get that score, then uh, psychologically it's a huge blow. Yeah. But then Eduardo, so uh, we can already see Eduardo playing a little bit slowly here, and um, you know he's got to adjust to this. But, but I'm just going to highlight that I really like Eduardo's response. We see that Wesley went on the clock, and the reason is Eduardo chose this queen c7 move order for a reason because it prevented the most, the most common, the most logical path forward, which is with C4, David's already highlighting it, so, uh, great point Simon, and I agree, White's often choosing something that, even if it doesn't get an advantage anymore, because of computer prep, it's a position you know, but, awesome.
leading off White's active knight for the passive black knight. White's king in so much trouble from both sides of the board. Black's queens can start jumping. Turizaga needs to move though. You can see the panic on his face. Fritting threats though with every move. God, look at that. He's got his hand on his oh head there. God. He is so stressed out. Can't sure he knows oh. he's so close in this one. He's turned it around. But can he convert this into a full point? Well, look at knight f5 coming for Wesley too. If Wesley finds the right move here now, he's under 10 seconds. He actually has just as many attacking chances oh. against Eduardo's king here at the moment. Oh, that's very slow. The black queen comes in. This is uh, uh, practically much oh, better for black. And look at the Trizaga. He leans in. Did he miss that move? I think he's wondering, where's the beef? Where's the mate? But he doesn't have anything here. And Wesley can even take the D6 one. Wow. This is it. And Wesley is staying with it. Oh, there's too much pressure on him. He's panicking. He's free panicking. And two points down now. Yeah. And only one more check. And White's uh -oh. is ready to come back and block. Uh, and the queen oh, is now coming into queen the position. H3. What a move there. A subtle retreat. She's going to enter into C8. And the attack is on the Black King. White's knight holding everything together there. They say a knight is a king's best friend. White's knight is beautiful. Now, yeah. Terezaga. And, and you can just tell Wesley is the much calmer, you know, the pressure. It's immense. And you can see that Eduardo out. is... Speed out. Oh, it's just it's open. Yeah. You get the rook in and look at Terezaga. He knows he was so close, but now it is falling apart. And that is the end of the game. Wesley so holds on, reminiscent of how he held on in the scramble versus Fabiano. Look at Wesley, he reacts. What a danced battle that was uh, at the very end and a hard with the Sicilian. And there we see Wesley. He is relieved. He's relieved. And as I was saying, he held.